Marco Colbert, Speed Recovery Finish Network. So I'm doing a video on something that I've never done a video on before today. We're going to talk a little bit about waterborne versus solvent-based, traditional solvent-based paint. Now, there is this myth and technical data out there that is kind of sort of true that if you mix solvent-based exactly to manufacturer recommendations, uh, waterborne actually covers better than solvent. Waterborne, you know, I've actually seen it sprayed. I've sprayed it myself. It's coat and a half. So you do one heavy coat of paint, you come back, you pull the gun back, and then you do another like kind of like mist coat. It's been said that solvent, you know, you got to do a minimum of two coats, one drop coat, sometimes even three coats, and then a fourth small drop coat. However, I've found a way to where you can do a coat and a half, the exact same application method as waterborne, and get the exact same coverage. And I'm going to show you guys today how to do it. Okay, so on the preview, we got a brand new bumper for a Chrysler 300C. That's like a, sa a satin uh, green jade color. The sob over here, you know, serious delamination issues with the roof. Uh, clear is just completely gone and pretty much all of the roof. You, there is no saving this. There is no going backwards. This is a full respray. Enough talking. We're going to go ahead. We're going to start prep on the bumper and prep on the roof. You got to focus on what's real, man. <laughs> lightning fast prep speeds for me we got the full roof prepped up and the bumper prepped up in about an hour flat just to be sure we have a nice smooth scratch free foundation to paint over we are going to go ahead and put a sealer on that roof click on this video for how to get full coverage like waterborne paint as easy as this under reduction but whatever your paint is whether it's two to one whether it's one to one all you have to do is under reduce it and you will get more pigment on the panel faster so this paint is one to one so we got about seven ounces in cup we would normally go to about 14 ounces but we're probably only going to go to about 10 to maybe 11 ounces on the reducer. You need to check in your paint, making sure it's good enough for this method. You're gonna go ahead, twirl your stick, pull it out. One, two, three, four. It's about a four second drip right there. That is a pretty thick base that will cover in only one and a half coats, just like waterborne paint. Let's put some paint in the gun. Let's show you guys how it's done. So as you guys see, full coverage, coat and a half, applied it the exact same way you do waterborne. You do one coat, holding the gun pretty close, laying the paint on really, really wet. You come back, you come back to where you started, you pull the gun back about 12 inches, and you do what's called a half coat. No blotchiness in the metallics, paint laid out smooth, no issues at all.
right, guys. So it's the next day. I wanted to let these parts fully cure up. That way I could show you guys no solvent pop, no funny business. They look fine. As long as you let your base, you know, flash off accordingly, you know, give it a good 20, 20 minutes to flash off, you will not have solvent pop doing it this way. Only one and a half coats of base. We applied it just like we did waterborne and one full smacking wet coat of the SMR 135. If you've got these little production jobs, jobs you're trying to get in and out very fast, this is definitely the way to do it for sure, in my opinion. Um, for me personally, with the way I spray, one full solid wet coat is plenty of clear with this product. So that wraps up the video. Like, subscribe, new videos every week.